please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It's Tuesday, January 8th. I'm Emma Eisman. And I'm Abby Greenwald. Today is day two of the Key Literature Keystone Test. Coming up, Eric Rosiniak has your sports recap from the weekend. We'll be right back with all this and your school news. In class news, seniors, the January Senior Bulletin has been printed and can be picked up in front of the counseling office at this time. Juniors, remember, if you have not started the 11th grade section of Project Life, now is the time. In addition to the college, technical, or military visit and job shadow, there are lessons that you must complete in the Project Life course. Sophomores and juniors, Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week is a summer program about business, leadership, teamwork, and self-discovery. PFEW is held at Lyon College in the Pennsylvania College of Technology in Williamsport, PA. There is a cost to the program, but financial aid is available. For more information, visit www.pfew.org or stop in the counseling office. In club news, Anime Club members, if you are planning to attend the Anime Club event on Saturday, please visit room 118 and reserve a space with Dr. Gurner. Plan to arrive for 1 p.m. and the festivities will start shortly thereafter. Again, 118 to sign up with Dr. Gurner. C Club members who are not taking the Algebra Keystones are asked to report to room 308 Wednesday morning after checking in with their homeroom teacher. And now we have send it over to Eric with your sports news. Thanks guys. On Friday, the girls took a long road trip to Conestoga Valley but brought home a 60-29 win. They came out strong and led the Buckskins 18-2 in the first quarter. Reese Glover led the offensive charge with 11 points with six coming from threes. Molly Bucher and Morgan Thompson each added nine, with Morgan once again adding in three threes. The boys' basketball team took down top-ranked Lower Dolphin in a 54-49 win on Saturday night. Logan dropped another 26 points with 15 coming from threes. Brody Dunlop and Grant Allwine put in another big defensive effort. Jason Everhart played hard in the paint, bringing home 11 points. The boys and girls teams will both be taking on their first section game of the year tomorrow against Hempfield. The girls will be playing at home in the cage and the boys will be hitting the road. Tonight, our bowlers will take on Lebanon with Palmyra Bowling Lanes after coming off of their massive win over Hempfield last Thursday. That's all for your weekly WAS. Now back to Emma and Abby. Thanks, Eric. And a big happy birthday goes out to Mrs. Hollinger in the library. Thank you for all that you do. Be sure to give her a birthday wish if you get to the library today. The Keystone tests begin today, so we are on a special schedule. Test takers should report to their assigned test taking location after homeroom. Do your best on the test. Those not taking the test will report to your period three class. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Abby Greenwald. And I'm Emma Eisman. Make it a great testing day, Cedar Crest. <laughs> 